I'm David Wolf. I'm Deputy Director of General Services for the City of Charlotte. I manage three groups uh, within General Services. Those are Building Maintenance, Fleet Maintenance, and our Landscape Management Group here at the Tucka CG Shop. You know, uh, I'm a native Charlottean, so born and raised here, and I love uh, working with the staff uh, that we have. Uh, to maintain our, uh, our assets in optimal condition, whether it's a fire truck, police vehicles, uh, or our street trees uh, that the group here maintains. And I really, it brings me a connection uh, to home and a connection to our residents uh, to know that uh, my groups uh, have, in their, have in our care um, the things that uh, we all uh, we all support and love here in the city. You know, uh, growing up here, um, we're a, a proud city. Um, we're, a, we're a city of trees. Uh, you notice it when you fly in. Um, it was the first thing uh, uh, many visitors tell us is they notice all of the trees that you can see flying into Charlotte Douglas. And so it's just that sense of pride knowing that uh, so many of those trees are in our care. Um, and knowing the history of the, what went into the, the many people before us who had those trees in their care, who, who the landscape designers who, who planted them, and the tree experts that we have on staff who, who maintain them. Uh, we, we have um, a significant canopy. Uh, near 45% uh, of our city is covered by trees. And, um, and we also have a, it's an aging canopy, um, and so we have very tall trees. Many of the species in our, um, in our city reach heights of 80 to 100 feet. And um, so it takes a lot, of, a lot of people, a lot of staff, um, to ensure the health of those, of those trees and the canopy. So uh, risk management is important uh, for our tree canopy. Uh, for the city's street trees uh, that are under our care. Um, again, we've got uh, a, a significant tree canopy and an aging canopy uh, where some of the oaks can reach 80 to 100 feet high. And so falling limbs, falling trees, obviously uh, a concern for cities uh, just like us across the country. And within the arborist community, um, we try to be as proactive as possible in managing that risk uh, through, uh, we have I believe 17 certified, uh, ISA certified arborist here on staff and uh, they use a methodology uh, called TRAC, uh, Tree Risk Assessment Qualifications to assess the, uh, the trees, uh, but, of, but of course that's from ground level and we have uh, those 17 staff it's hard to cover a city the size of, of Charlotte. Uh, we rely on uh, feedback from our citizens, um, consulting and our contracting firms, as well as our own inspectors. We have dedicated inspectors who drive around um, uh, managing our tree risk. Listening to Robert talk about um, high-level aerial photography and what it can do and his ideas around vegetation management. Uh, he was initially talking about utilities and kind of marketing to major utility companies. Uh, but listening to him speak, um, I thought of our tree canopy. And so through a few back and forth emails with Rob, we kind of came to an understanding, he came to an understanding of what our needs are and the way cities look at uh, risk management for trees. And um, it's just been really exciting to try to come up with a solution that involves aerial photography, uh, and as well as artificial intelligence and modeling of, uh, of some of our own data that we've uh, been able to share with him of our storm response. Charlotte is subject to severe weather, including uh, tornadoes, hurricanes, and uh, severe wind shears. So uh, those are kind of unpredictable coming from any direction um, with, with forces up to 50, 60 miles an hour. Having Rob work with some of our local experts here has just been a great opportunity to share information and see what modeling we can do with the data we've created over the years. And uh, we're, we're 
we're seeing some uh, some good results so far. We're kind of in the middle of this study, and it's just really impressive what Rob and his team have put together so far. I could tell Rob was very passionate about his subject and bringing big data to bear on an issue that uh, I had never seen looked at. Uh, I had never seen anyone try to address uh, storm response and predictive modeling for uh, tree management. Well, we have we have a, a large tree canopy that uh, we have risks associ associated with our large tree canopy, including structures that are that are next door. We're subject to uh, severe weather here in Charlotte. Um, everything from tornadoes to hurricanes uh, to to wind, significant wind shear and. Um, the idea that we could create a model, in part utilizing our own data, and see what we could learn through machine learning and apply to our own data, and help us be more proactive with uh, which trees we need to visit on the ground and confirm uh, what the model is telling us, and so that we can be sure we're we're everywhere we need to be in a city the size of Charlotte. We have well over 200,000 street trees. They're all identified. They're on GIS. They're all they're all endpoints on GIS. Um, we get to each tree as often as we can, but having a proactive computer model that can support the arborist here at uh, our landscape management. Uh, it's just a wonderful idea, and I, I really think there's an opportunity here that Rob uh, has identified that uh, I hope can uh, help increase safety in sh uh, for our own community as well as uh, be proud to see Rob take it as far as he can. You know, I got to know Rob a little bit better at lunch today, and hearing his uh, a, a bit of his life story and all the countries he's lived at. Um, his calm demeanor is really explained by his experiences. I could tell early on in our meetings, uh, Rob is very open to listening and learning. He, uh, he brings to bear a lot, a lot of expertise uh, from the technology side, but he's so uh, interested in learning um, our business and our viewpoints and very respectful for our arborist here who are kind of boots on the ground. I, I can tell that Rob, uh, when he has a passion for something, he's gonna pursue it to the end and, and see it as far as he can. He's been very um, uh, responsive to our ideas for changes in the model. And um, we'll meet one week and, and describe a few things, a few ideas that we've come up with where the model may be able to make a better prediction and several weeks later it's in the model. So um, it's just been a fantastic experience for all of us. Things that drew me to this project was the uh, possibilities that we can, uh, can reduce cost here at Landscape Management. Um, like many cities, we, we say we, we operate on limited resources. We're thankful for the resources we're given. Uh, we want to use them as efficiently as possible. And you know, we only have uh, 17 staff who are able to uh, visit the hundreds of square miles of city property, of city, of thousands of miles of city streets. So, um, cost effectiveness very important to our team here.